Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here with my very first Albion Fair review. And this was one that I got to go before I left to take home. And this is an item that's really made to go. That's the way they make it. And this is the St. Lawrence Combo Sub. And basically, St. Lawrence is uh, the Catholic Church in Albion. And, uh, and a lot of church fundraisers, when they have food and stuff, the food's really, really good. So, you know, uh, I like to... I like going there sometimes, you know, and the food's delicious. Well, anyways, this is what the combo sub looks like. I want to show you. Put it down here. There's, there's. Let me push it up a little bit. There's uh, lettuce, tomatoes in there, cheese. There's a lot of chipped ham, and then there's uh, I believe that salami. I thought that was pepperoni first. That salami, chipped ham, uh. Lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, and also I got a lot of uh, Italian dressing. I only needed two. I like putting Italian dressing in on uh, on cold cut subs. That's why we liked on that turkey Italiano melt. I love that Italian dressing. There. Or no, it was a vinaigrette. And they gave me a whole bunch of these. I got actually only needed two, and I got one, two, three left over. And basically, they have two. Uh, Refrigerators, they, I think they have pretzel sandwiches and they have this. And they're wrapped up, you know, and you get them and they take them to go. And it's perfect to take to go because it's better than getting like a sloppy sandwich that they just wrap in a little bit of aluminum foil and it makes a giant mess. And this is like pre-packaged and ready to go, like I said, in a little bag right here. And this was $4.50. So let's give it a shot. And on uh, regular white sub roll. Pick it up. Okay. Whoop is dripping that dripping uh, Italian dressing all over the place. Give it a shot. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean there's a lot of bread there, but you get a you do get a decent amount of meat. A lot of chipped ham. Because I haven't had... I haven't had a hoagie. Well, I'm going to say sub, but... It's something they call these hoagies. Uh, from a church fundraiser in a long time. So, I mean, I thought, what the heck, I'd go and get some there. There's another church that was selling, like... Well, I did, I did do a review of uh, something that another church is selling by this. But that's a surprise. Well, it's a re-review of it. Something I saw. If you know what, I, if you know what, my last videos from the Elmwood Fair were, you know what I'm talking about, probably. Or you know what it's going to be. And then there's another church that's doing uh There's other churches doing like spaghetti dinners and stuff like that. I didn't get that this year. I, there's so many other neat things. I got. And then there was uh, one church that sells uh, apple dumplings. I remember. Going there and, and getting it when right at the end of the fair, they, they wanted two fifty. They usually want five dollars for one, and they're out of their minds. I ain't paying that much, but four fifty for this isn't too bad compared to other uh, fairs uh, games, fair games or fair uh, food prices. So I give this. Uh, let me try another bite. Yeah, I give it an 8 out of 10. For flavor and also for memories. Now, we used to get these a lot. And I haven't gotten a church hoagie in a long time. So, my very first uh, Albion Fair 2015 food review. So, please stay tuned and all the other ones will be on location. So, until next time, please take care of my legion. And they're not always... Always going to be food and drink reviews. It might be something else relating to the fair. It might be a big video. And a lot of the videos aren't that long, these ones. Unless I edited it. So, until next time, take care of my legion.